Welcome to the sensational highlights of the Hobart Hurricanes 2024 BBL season. Cricket enthusiasts, get ready for an all-access journey through sixes, wickets, and the most electrifying moments that define the Hurricanes this year. Hello and welcome back again to our channel. This is where all cricket lovers come to hear amazing stories and feel the excitement of matches. If you love cricket and want to know all the secrets and fun moments, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This way, you'll always be updated with our latest videos. Today, we're taking a close look at the Hobart Hurricanes 2024 BBL season highlights. The Hobart Hurricanes' squad for the 2023-24 BBL season was a dynamic mix of experience and emerging talent. Led by Captain Nathan Ellis, the team featured power hitters like Tim David and Sam Hain, who brought depth to the batting order. The bowling department was strengthened by the inclusion of international stars Chris Jordan and Corey Anderson, known for their ability to take crucial wickets and contain runs. With a balanced team comprising seasoned veterans and promising newcomers, the Hurricanes aimed to blend strategic acumen with youthful exuberance in their quest for BBL success. The Hobart Hurricanes' journey in the BBL 2024 was a testament to their resilience and determination. They kicked off the season with the ambition of clinching their first BBL championship, showcasing a formidable batting lineup and a robust bowling side. Their standout victory was against the Melbourne Stars, where they edged out with a narrow seven-run win, marking a significant triumph for the team. In their encounters with the Adelaide Strikers, the Hurricanes faced setbacks, losing by eight wickets at Blundstone Arena, and then by five wickets at Adelaide Oval, with scores of 165-7 and 168-5, respectively. The match against the Brisbane Heat was a cliffhanger, affected by rain, and ended in a heart-wrenching one-run loss under the Duckworth-Lewis method. The team's resilience shone through as they secured a seven-wicket victory against the Sydney Thunder at Bellarive Oval. However, the Perth Scorchers proved to be a tough opponent, handing the Hurricanes a nine-wicket defeat at Perth Stadium. The Hurricanes bounced back with a six-wicket win over the Melbourne Renegades at Docklands Stadium, showcasing their ability to recover and finish strong. The season was a roller coaster for the Hurricanes, marked by thrilling wins and challenging defeats. Each match served as a valuable lesson, contributing to the team's growth and camaraderie. As the season wrapped up, the Hurricanes finished in fifth place, with a record of four wins and six losses, and a net run rate of 0 260 The fans have much to look forward to in the next season, with hopes high for the Hurricanes to build on their experiences and aim for the title once again. On January 15, 2024, the Hobart Hurricanes and the Melbourne Stars played an exciting cricket match in the Big Bash League at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The Hurricanes won by just seven runs, scoring 187-8 in their 20 overs. Matthew Wade hit a fantastic 63 runs from 41 balls, and Ben McDermott also played well, scoring 50 runs from 35 balls. The Stars bowlers tried hard, with Dan Lawrence taking four wickets for 35 runs and Nathan Coulter-Nile getting 218. When the Stars batted, they made 184, almost reaching the target. Bo Webster scored an unbeaten 55 runs from 43 balls, and Marcus Stoinis added a quick 48 from 32 balls. But the Hurricanes' Nathan Ellis was the hero of the match taking two wickets for 29 runs and scoring a fast 16 runs from just five balls. His all-around performance earned him the Player of the Match award. This win was a great end to the season for the Hurricanes, even though they didn't get to the finals. The match was a showcase of cricket at its best, with both teams playing hard and showing great skill and sportsmanship. The fans enjoyed a close game with lots of action and some excellent performances from both teams. It was a day to remember for the Hurricanes and their supporters as they celebrated a well-earned victory. The final match of the Big Bash League season between the Hobart Hurricanes and the Melbourne Stars was a thrilling encounter that showed the Hurricanes' resilience and skill. Held at the iconic Melbourne Cricket Ground, the Hurricanes put on a formidable batting display, setting a challenging target for the Stars. The Hurricanes batted first and managed to score 187-8 in their allotted 20 overs. The innings was anchored by Matthew Wade, who scored a brisk 63 off 41 balls, and Ben McDermott, who contributed a valuable 50 off 35 balls. Their efforts were supported by lower-order cameos, 
including a quick-fire 16 off five balls by Nathan Ellis. Despite Dan Lawrence's impressive 435 for the Stars, the Hurricanes' total proved to be competitive. In response, the Melbourne Stars put up a valiant fight but fell short by seven runs, ending their innings at 184. Bo Webster's unbeaten 55 off 43 balls and Marcus Stoinis' aggressive 48 off 32 balls were the highlights of the Stars' chase. However, the Hurricanes' bowlers, led by Nathan Ellis with figures of 229, managed to keep the pressure on and restrict the Stars from reaching the target. Nathan Ellis was deservedly named the player of the match for his all-round performance. His contributions with both bat and ball were pivotal in securing the victory for the Hurricanes. Despite not advancing to the playoffs, this win was significant for the Hurricanes as it allowed them to finish the season on a high note, overtaking the Stars on the points table. The match was a fitting end to the Hurricanes' season, demonstrating their potential and leaving fans hopeful for the next season. The team's ability to perform under pressure and deliver when it mattered most is a testament to their character and the spirit of cricket. The Hobart Hurricanes had an interesting season in the Big Bash League 2023-24. Nathan Ellis was the new captain, and he brought fresh energy to the team. They played some good cricket, but didn't make it to the playoffs, ending up in sixth place. The team had strong players like Tim David, who scored a lot of runs, and others like Caleb Jewell and Ben McDermott, who also played well. The team was smart in choosing new players to fill in the gaps where they needed to get better. Jeff Vaughn was the coach, and he used his experience to guide the team. Even though they didn't win this time, the Hurricanes showed that they have the potential to do better next season. They just need to keep working on their teamwork and making smart choices in the games. Want to keep up with cricket news? Remember to follow our channel. Click the bell button to get notifications for new videos. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.